Good morning. Thanks for tuning in today. Nice to be here chatting with you. I'm Reed. If it's your first time tuning in, if it's not, I'm still Reed today. Wow. Back here at Orchestra Farm, lovely Salt Spring Island. And I appreciate everyone who's subscribing and liking the videos, and especially when you comment. It's great to hear and interact with you there. Today, well, I'm thinking about the idea of being married to ideas in particular, but even being married. And as I'm getting ready to celebrate my 12th anniversary, and I'm relating to the farm. Oh yes, thank you. I appreciate your congratulations on that. I'm related to the farm, experiments that we do. There's my little wasabi plants growing there. They're not the happiest, but they're doing better than not. And, you know, I see the farm as a big experiment and each year I try out some different things to see what's working and you know it's surprising how many things will work one year and then not work the next year even if you do it similarly the same way and there's so many different factors that play into that and <clears throat> this notion of like it's good not to be married to any particular idea in fact in my own marriage we actually rewrite our vows every year we go through, we see what worked, what didn't work, and try to figure out how can it function better. And the same is true here at the farm. You know, I'm getting ready to uh, turn this scramble of land, you can even see the water that's still sitting there, into a big squash patch. And new things, so we'll see how it goes. And over here, strawberry area, and I'm going to take everything out of it and replant it with strawberries. But that notion that, you know, when I was first getting going, I was like, oh, I want to be no-till, and yeah, we'll use sheep mulch, and you know, it'll all be this beautiful thing with lots of ability for the soil organisms to really take hold and have a good life here. And, you know, I don't live here, and I'm here two to three-ish days a week so that's not like all the time in the world to you know make things happen so is my garden like perfectly weeded no in fact we have buttercup that really just goes rampant here and a lot of the time i just have to let that go you know whereas when different things are going to seed that's definitely a good time to get in there and get them out before they completely take over in that respect. But in the sheet mulching idea, it's just like, it's actually a lot of time and energy when you're getting boxes that aren't taking up your whole space. And, oh, look at this, the rhubarb's coming up. Rhubarb seems to prefer the sun to like the deep shade. I do have some deep shade. Uh, those trees that are just on the other side of the greenhouse there, the cedars. They block out a ton. Um, and the rhubarb didn't want to grow over there. So, you know, that thing of, because I do have access to a tractor, and I can till, and I don't have all the time in the world, maybe it does make sense to actually a bit more. Now this is a lovely altered northern pecan right here. And it's put on a good amount of growth. It, started out about that height right there and it's thickened up it's the size of a uh, maybe my index finger at the base anyway <clears throat> and so last year i ended up doing more tilling than some of the previous years and in the areas that i did till uh, the crops did mostly a lot better i say mostly because i think i mounted the potatoes too late and I didn't hardly get a potato harvest. It happened in this area. I was just putting more and more and more of this uh, malt hay on them. And they were just not having it. So that was sad. I'm actually buying potatoes right now, which feels kind of wrong. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And with that, you know, it's good to be able to reassess and recognize, like, this is an experiment, and I'm not married to 
one part of it that I want to assess. How did it go? You know, it's like having a hypothesis and realizing like, oh, I'm maybe proving this hypothesis wrong. And rather than being married to that one idea set, be like, I'm going to change how I do that then. So that I can do things that function and work and come together. And to know that, you know, that's how life goes. Now, if you're looking for some comfrey, this wonderful stuff right here is comfrey. And uh, I can even send that out. I've got several patches going and they're coming back up to life, which is great. So if you're looking for some comfrey, hit me up and uh, we can make things happen. Anyway, in your life, are there experiments that you're doing? Maybe you even, don't even know that they're actually experiments, but they are showing you definitively one way or another that like something is or isn't working that your hypothesis is either on point or not that you need to reassess the direction that it's going in and how that's gonna take shape I'm seeing a nice little uh sea buck clear around here's the sea buck going right here and it's getting a little bit drowned out by all these grasses and the uh, rows and blackberry that's in here which you know not the worst problems in the world but i'd love to get some more berries off of that they're supposed to be super good for you and i tasted a couple and i really enjoyed them anyway i'd love to hear what your experiments are and how they're going for you and how you might be planning to course correct or otherwise uh, reassess the direction to get the results that you're really looking for. So here I'm looking forward to uh, having a bunch of crops that really take off this year and provide a lot of benefit to not only myself and my family, but to our localized community here in Salt Spring. And also to the birds and the other animals that mostly fly through here, but we did have a turtle on the farm last year. That's really exciting. I really, really like turtles. And, um, you know, I'm not, without thinking about them, intermixed with the idea of like, yeah, I don't want to be tilling so frequently that I'm just utterly decimating the soil organisms. But I do want to make sure that uh, I'm able to do this in a way that it doesn't absorb all of my time and energy. You know, those are some precious resources in my own life and I've got some other things I'm doing you probably noticed that if you're watching these videos I try to share more of those parts of myself I hope you're liking those parts so if you've seen me doing a little bit of painting or playing music focused on the hands a bit with those things uh, I'd love to hear what your comments are about those and I hope that y'all have a super great day thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for all the comments Look forward to chatting with you later on in the week and have too much fun.